Today, I'm taking you back to where it all began for me. Hey everybody and welcome back for another episode of Geocaching with Hailmeister. Today, I am celebrating my 10 year anniversary of finding my very first geocache. As you can imagine, 10 years can really provide a lot of entertainment, a lot of adventure, and a lot of opportunity for anybody in this game. I have found almost 11,000 caches over that 10 year period. I have been able to explore my home area as well as go to other places and explore those areas as well too. I have met and gone geocaching with so many people over that time and gotten to know several of them and even call some of them my good friends. And geocaching has even allowed me to flex my creative muscles right here on YouTube by the creation of getting out there and making YouTube videos for you all to watch. Well, today I'm taking you back to my first hide. It's located about 500 feet down the trail that way. Let's go visit it. My first geocache find was put out March 2nd, 2004. It's a really old one. Be a Jasmine filler for some people, maybe even a destination cache for some as well too. Unfortunately, the owner of the cache is not active anymore in the geocaching community, and I noticed there's been a recent string of DNFs on it. That's why I am replacing it today with this ammo can. Ah uh, yes, I remember being out here 10 years ago looking for a regular sized geocache and I couldn't find it. In fact, I actually had to have a hint from the owner and thank gosh he, uh, he emailed me or else who knows where I'd be today and doing whatever. I uh, actually didn't even have a GPS with me. I was just going by a printed map and a satellite image I looked at before I even left home. But the oversized geocache container was actually hidden underneath this bridge right here along the trail. Now one thing's for sure, I don't remember all these weeds being here back then. Yeah, I don't see this container anymore. It used to be sitting right there on the ledge, but I don't see anything right there. Well, what am I putting in the brand new hide? The old brand new hide, I guess you could say. Of course, we got a log sheet and a pen. I'm also dropping in a little, I don't know, travel buddy, whatever you want to call it. Putting in a couple of geocaching with Hillmeister stickers. And also a button from my channel, Geocaching with Hillmeister. I know it doesn't really seem like a whole lot of swag to put in an ammo can this size, but you know what? I can always come back and drop in some swag as I feel as needed and keep it stocked up. After all, this geocache is pretty special to me. Yeah, that's about where I found the first one. Well, what fun would it be to go back to a geocache that you found 10 years ago and not show some pictures of the first time you've been there. Check these ones out. The first one is the inside of the container. It was a former coffee container and you can see it had a couple of swag items in there including a pair of glasses. And this picture here, wow, look at my hair. Holy cow, I had hair back then. This is me taking a picture with some of the swag when I thought it was cool to take pictures with swag back then. I think any geocacher would agree with me. Over the course of 10 years, you see a lot of stuff, you learn a lot of stuff, and you find a lot of stuff out there. And I'm not just talking about geocaching containers either. Geocaching gives us an opportunity to explore the world around us. Think about it for a second. How many times have you said to yourself, I would have never known about this place if it hadn't been for the geocache here? Geocachers also find nature. They find areas and parks and forest preserves near their home they never even knew about. They learn about the good and the bad plants that are near geocaches or along the trails while going to geocaches. And many times I often see that geocachers find that they have a drive to succeed they didn't know they had before. A good example of that would be somebody finding a difficult 5-5 geocache, somebody working very hard to complete a difficult challenge cache requirements, or even working for a strenuous hike or a difficult tree climb to get a geocache. I have seen this happen many times with other people and with my own self as well too, where we like pushing the limits that we set within our own mind 
to see if we can go a little bit further for a geocache. And finally, something that geocachers find while they're out geocaching is camaraderie and friendship. A lot of times it is families that are spending time together and bonding with loved ones. And you even meet people from across the globe, all over the world, and sometimes you even meet people from your own town that you've never even met before. So you see, geocaching is a lot more than just going out and finding a geocache container or location. There's all sorts of stuff to find while geocaching. This is why I'm launching a new mission for my channel on geocaching with Hailmeister. I want to know, what will you find when you go geocaching? Will it be nature? Will it be a historic location? Will it be a new friend? Or perhaps, maybe you'll just find yourself. All right guys, until next time, I'm Hailmeister, and I wanna know what are you gonna find next time you go geocaching. If you like this video, I think you'll like some of the videos here on the side as well too. We'll see you guys next time for another episode of Geocaching with Hailmeister.